Minecraft, the game with limitless materials to build, live, and thrive with. So what if I took it all away from you? Gave you some dirt, wood, water, and lava. Well, this is a real thing made by someone named New Crew, but everyone knows it as what we call Skyblock. Now we all know Skyblock, but do you know what it originally was? Probably not. It was originally just a 3x3x3, three by three by three, with 24 dirt, 1 sand, 1 bedrock. And another part, there was only one island, so you're more trapped than you were before. But this as we know, is not what Skyblock stopped at. But this is what it originally was. Now as people might know, the goal of Skywalk is kind of just to thrive. but in this version, you had to beat the map. Now, how do you beat the map, you might ask? Well, there was 50 goals, and they will be in the description if you want to read them. I'm not going to read them. But this entire new experience to Minecraft came from one thing. Skyblock videos from YouTubers. Every single Minecraft YouTuber has made a Skyblock video, trust me on that, and they get so many views, upwards to 10 million. One of PewDiePie's video, his first Skyblock video got 21 million views, look at that, that is so many. But, Skyblock YouTubers did not play on Skyblock 1.0, no they played on Skyblock 2.0. We all know the Skyblock, it has about 2 million downloads, yeah, 2 million. As we know, this map is triple the size of 1.0, it had the desert island, I don't need to go into too much detail because everybody and their mother has played Skyblock 2. But Skyblock 2, while fun, people wanted something really new. And what they had realized is that Skyblock's pretty fun with friends. It didn't take long for everybody to start inviting friends, and they can take your resources on this already barren world. It was more fun than regular Skyblocks if people started to do it. Soon after, the game came out, and I mean, honestly, I couldn't agree more. It's, it's so much fun to play with friends. I haven't done it too much, and I hope I can do it some more with some other people. So, you know, if anyone's watching this video and wants to play some Skyblock, you know, I'm, I'm listening. Either way... I couldn't agree more, and I guess you could technically consider this the first Skyblock challenge. Good old Skyblock challenges. We all know what they are. Skyblock 1 block, for example. You break a single block that respawns and has 10 phases. There's also a high pixel Skyblock, but that's that's gonna need to talk about a little bit later because there's so much to talk about. But this one, this is my favorite challenge, if you want to call it that. It's it's not really a challenge, it's more just playing life on 1 HP. So, we all know Skyblock 1 block, but what if you had one block that doesn't respawn? Just a grass block. You might have seen this person on TikTok that's been doing it. I don't remember his name exactly. If I find it, I'll link it in the description. Or uh, I'll also put some text over here. Either way, so cool. He's been making videos where you don't res- where the block doesn't respawn. That's it. You get one block. And I didn't think it was possible to do anything, which I guess technically it isn't because he put the end room portal room in there, but I still count it because it's, it's insane. How do you get there? How do you get to the portal room? That's my question. I mean, I, I know because I watched it, but either way, Skywalk did not always have great challenges like this. There was also a time period where there was a downfall with pay to win servers. Pay to win. We all know what it means. Give me $5, I'll give you access to creative. That's pretty much what happened with Skyblock servers for a few years, and it was, honestly, it was terrible. 
you could spend a dollar and get access to fly on your island. Like, that's the opposite of Sky what Skywalk is supposed to be. A challenge. And that took it all away. And at this point, Minecraft was just at a low point for popularity. But after the revivals, these servers slowly went away, and a new kind of Skywalk came out. Called Hypixel Skywalk. Oh god, here we go. Hypixel Skyblock. Opening in 2019, this game fucking blew up for Hypixel. Oh my god. I hate it. I'm a masochist. I play this game way too much. Now this game is... It's barely Skyblock. Like, you stay on your island until you can fly. You don't pay to win it, so it's okay. Uh, there's so many... It's kind of hard to explain what you do, because there's just so many things you can do. You could mine... You could farm, you could forage, if you're fucking weird. You could max alchemy, so like, farming. You could do combat, combat's a lot of fun. There is just so much to do, and if you haven't played it, I would recommend playing at least a little bit, because it's such a good experience. Everyone knows Sky Wars, and we all know it had to do with Skywalk originally, but Sky Wars, originally it was just pretty much four Skywalk maps put together, with like, four chests around. And it also looked really fucking ugly, like, ew, bro. It was, it was also originally named Skywalk Battles, which, once again, ew. But it was obviously renamed to the shorter and more commonly known Sky Wars. But after Skywalk Battles were made, it was picked up by many servers, like Hypixel, who changed the maps to, to different layouts, and it was... They changed so many things about it that they don't even look the same. The maps were different, you could have 8 to 16 players instead of 4. And the games were way more interesting because you had more OP loot, there was more chests. It was it was so much better than that, honestly. And Sky Wars kinda leads into the fact of what modern Skyblock can be. Now, why do I say that modern Skyblock can be the same as Sky Wars? Because Skyblock is so different in so many ways now, with one block, original, high pixel skyblock, pay to win servers. Sky Wars, all that stuff is so it's all different and it's it's so cool to me because there's just so many different ways you can play it Like you can still play Skyblock 2.0, which it's not my personal favorite map actually My favorite is one from someone called Lord John who makes really cool Skyblock bases and I would recommend looking them up Go check them out. Very cool Hey, thanks for watching the entire video. I put a lot of work into this. It's been a it's been in something, alright? I've been working on this for like five days now, and I am so ready to actually get this video out. I'm recording this last, everything else has been edited completely, and I'm so happy to say that it's finally done. Now, if you did enjoy it, I think that you should like and subscribe, and follow me on TikTok and Twitch. Both of those links will be in the description. Same with the challenges of the original Skywalk map.